Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play Star Citizen episode 390 and of course we're doing Expo. Yes, it is 2021 and doing this still. We'll get up, up, up eventually. <laughs> the problem I had yesterday, very quickly, is uh, after you, you know, after I crashed and came back to the game, well, I didn't realise my recording stopped. So all the stuff with you from that point onwards didn't record. So after you left, I then realised, so I had to go back and do the whole from when we got to the top bit, basically, next on my own for 34 minutes to get everything covered. I was like, seriously? That was good stuff there with him. And I, obviously I lost it. Oh, and then I had another problem really quickly. I turned my game on earlier because I logged on for Tiffy just to hit her for the day. And it said I was online. I didn't know why. Came to my game. I was still running, you know, until the exit minimised. And my guy woke up uh, in, in medical things. He's been running all night. <laughs> I was like, what the, seriously? <sighs> yeah. I thought it would have kicked me off if I was on for that long, but apparently not. I woke up in a gown. Yeah. Oh, so you died? Yeah, apparently. Probably starved to death because he stayed on online the whole night. So you've been in hospital all night? Yeah, basically. I think that's what I gathered. But once you're in, we'll join group with each other. And I'll tell you these settings quick, then we'll head down there. So, it's RSI today, so that's who we're looking around. And the, the yesterday's are still technically there if you wanted to visit that after we did RSI. If you really want to visit, it's up to you. Talk me through the settings, please. Yeah, exit, obviously, options, graphics. I've got, um, to run better, the, mo the motion blur needs to be off, what I think we had. Film grain needs to be off. We got both of them that off. Go. Go from top to bottom. I'm just I'm just so reading you down. what I how I wrote it basically. So film grain off. Yeah, motion uh, off. Motion blur off. Yeah, V sync off. V sync off. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I wrote down. Hell? I think that's, I think the reason. Taps it to the graphics card, though, doesn't it? The V-Sync, I think the reason for it is basically the V-Sync basically say it caps it at say 60 and it won't let it go past it. But what I think I remember when I found this information out, the person was saying that for him it, it doesn't drop too much in between and the actual gains is more noticeable when the V-Sync is actually on, apparently. But you get bored. The person also said if you're finding it, it's the other way for you, then you can turn it back on. But he had it off. Had the field of view. Uh, I've got V-Sync off, sharpness to zero, and the chromatic abbreviation to zero. I've got them... Whoa, that's on 100. Yeah, let's put it to zero. I'm not, I'm not sure, but put it to 100. Uh, sorry, put it to zero. Sharpening zero. Yeah. Volbetic clouds, this is where it's different, because this is a medium. We only had medium before, now we have off. So I would put it to off. Yeah, done that. Because before they were medium lowest, and they're only temporary for this patch because of everything. Because technically, it could be a cheat. Like someone has clouds on, and they can hide in them. Where someone has it off, can just see you and shoot you. But they said because it's That's affecting great. stuff so much. There's, I had nothing for that. Everything else was supposed to be highest. So if you got a very high, put on the high, for example, for quality. I don't have anything to do with yeah. the scattered or the terrain, so I've just left them as default medium. I got nothing written, written for them. I don't know who added this patch or what. But these are the settings that so, I wrote terrain down. Is medium. Scattered is medium. Uh, low. The what? Sorry, say that again. So I've got terrain is medium now. Yeah, I just they, I just left them where they were as medium. I'm a default medium. That I don't have anything for them to. Scattered is medium. Yeah, I left them at that because I had nothing down for that. that quality is high. Is low. Do not have quality, quality low. High. Yeah. Remember, sources at the moment, low is using more CPU, so it's going to make it worse. Uh, medium upwards uses more of the graphics card, so if you've got a good graphics card, that's the better version. If you've got the crappiest card out there, then you want the CPU and low to be used. So I'm not going to tell uh, resolution, not going to touch... Yeah, re resolution should, should be at 1080p, so 1920 times 1080p, <laughs> basically. Yeah, right. I'm going to leave that as that, then. Yeah. And they also recommend, if that's too too bad, lower the resolution even more, but that's what they recommend it on. And mine runs with that, okay, so... So hopefully that helps. I don't... Oh, is that your name? Oh, yeah, 50 metres away from me. Let's see. So it's still a bit laggy, because we're... It's the free week, and of course, we're on a planet, but hopefully that helps compared to what it was before. Oh, there you are. Hello! Hello. We're on the same floor. Am I wearing anything different or have I got still the uh, hospital robe? Hospital robe, but you got the Aegis hat on still from yesterday. 
Like I should basically put the same things on and set for different trousers and boots because I lost mine. But I bought another set of these there and I already had a set. The inventory is holding up faster for me now. Well, that's good then. So hopefully what we said as we did has helped. And obviously once we leave the planet it will help even more. But just pointless leaving unless we plan to really play. Because we have to keep coming back every time for the, this event every day for the next... Uh, I think, was it to the 1st of December? So every day until then. So basically the next week in a bit, isn't it? So normally this time of year when this happens I just stay here and just do this every day. And then after that that's when I play properly again. <laughs> you're wearing a shirt, you're wearing a hat, you have no pants on right now or shoes. Is that what you're supposed to be wearing? Uh, uh, yeah, go on. Okay. Oh, there's a person running past. Yeah, I'm getting lag. But also when we get into the event, sometimes it gets a little better. Is she going to press it for us? Good. Yep, she is. The door's what? open. Go in. Hello. Oh, no. Did you get in, the, in here? Yeah, I'm in now. Okay, good. Hello. My name's Yeah, mine's like Oh, there you're in front of me. Mine's lagging a little bit like mad. And the doors... Oh, it's open. I can see the planet. That, that's brilliant. I see you and the planet. <laughs> With the door wide open right now. Oh, now the door's shut. And now it's... Now it's opening and shutting. Ah, I'm out. Okay, good. And also, depending, like, we get on this server now, it could be bad and we, we log off, go to another server, we might be really good. Depending how long the server's well, been on. Must. Well, follow me. Basically, follow the signs if you don't know. Look, the middle sides, see, show floor this way. There's big signs pointing to it. It's downstairs. If you went in the middle, it's to the hospital. Oh, and I just ran to walk because it lagged on me. I feel like they need to give us um, some sort of information Here we are. regarding this lagging system. What do you mean, like what? Like how many people are on, uh, how many, what are you going to experience, and like frames and all that shit. Well, it varies, isn't it? Like I said, if you lucky to get on a server in a minute, what has no one on it, you have a brilliant frame rate. But then, as soon as other people uh, load up, and that server's been running for a while, and that's the whole point of server mer merging. They've literally just done a question answer thing about that. Uh, they're working on over the next. They've been working on since twenty. I think it was eighteen, and it's looking at next year or the year after to be finished. So you can read all that stuff if you want to. Come on, over here, work. Speaking of playing a game, I just watched, I don't know if you've seen it, the, the free guy with uh, Ren, uh, uh, Reynolds in. Yeah, have you watched it? Yeah, I just watched it on DVD just before it came to you. Are you in? You are, okay. Watched it twice. Okay, I've just seen it the first time, it was good. Okay, so I believe, is it the Apex Hall we're going to tonight? The, the, the thing's directly behind you. Look, I noticed that yesterday, earlier, behind you. This has got those things. Anvil Zenti Hall, Apex, is Roberts, yeah, so it's Apex. If you turn your character around, you can see the poster of all the dates and which hole we need to go to. I see, I see, I see, I see. So, Apex. Ugh, if I can drag it down. The lag is bad. Come on, F. My F's not showing up. I'm looking at the door and I'm moving. Oh, there it is. My cursor's to come now. I've clicked it. I've clicked it. We should be going down. I know it's early. You actually see the person click on it too because I watched somebody click lobby. Because in the past, you couldn't even see if someone did it. Now you can actually watch it and see, see them. So, you should have saw me hit the Apex when I did that then. And that's the goal, you'd be able to see what other players do with that stuff. But now I'm going to say, you must have clicked it. Hmm. Because I heard the elevator going down, but I'm lagging, I can't move again. Uh, hopefully once we're in, out of the elevator and stuff, the ships are loaded up. Oh, you yesterday when you said, oh, that's a redeeming, that big ship in the middle. When I looked after it, it wasn't, that's actually the carrot. The redeeming wasn't actually there. What floor is it? Apex Hall. What's that? That's uh, the other hall. That's the one for uh, what we did yesterday. So we can visit that one uh, after this if you want to go back and look at the ones you can look at. How's all, all the rest of the halls like? Oh god. My floor is the planet so I'm going to have to wait a minute. Basically the way it works is you have Argo. Uh, say, say for example. Oh someone's pushing me. Stab it. There's literally a planet out there right now. I can't go out. Whoa. As I was trying to say before I got pushed then. Basically, uh, Argo was yesterday, and it, it lasts for 48 hours. Okay, who's pushing me right now? I've got someone's face coming inside me. Why are you... What? There's a, well, the player when he was pushing me. And he just took me back up to the lobby. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let me go back to Apex. What? 
He took me back up in the lift to get out. He was pushing me at the same time. But as I was trying to say, uh, the two two days, or if we miss uh, RSI today, we could do it tomorrow, basically. So it gives us a chance, but it's only for two days. That's why the two lobbies are there, the, the two places. So tomorrow's any hole will be the one we go tomorrow, and it'll be whoever else is next day. What is this? Okay, I'm out now. Are you here? This is RSI today. Yeah. Are you already out? Oh, yeah. It's like RSI. Our size is uh, Robert Space Industries, so stuff like the um, Connies, the Auroras, etc, etc. Alrighty then, I'm at the video. And it's like it's the Connies. It looks like it's the Connie that's being shown. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Chris. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot we have the little talky things, don't we, this time? Is it the same for the first okay, ones? Is it the same ones? Let me click. Size. Yeah, the, the, that first one's the same. The first one's the same. I'll come up the stairs. I'm coming up the stairs. Okay, and there's uh, the Connies, and I'm getting lag like hell right now. Okay, I'm just gonna sit stand up here a minute, see if the lag goes a little bit. As it loads everything in. Right now, which one are you going to? Right or left? I'm gonna press this button first. To see, because I think this is for Robert specifically. Some if you want to press and listen yourself. Because right. you said it, it, when I play it, you can't hear it, so. Can hear it for your mic. Oh, okay. Didn't know you could do that. <laughs> okay, cool. I guess we should go from the... Oh, we'll go to the map at the front and then we'll work out going left or right. Because the map shows you what's here today. So we have the Connies in the middle. Then the underground is a Scorpio. The Pisces and the Polis and the U US Rover. And then we have all the Auroras and the Mantis. In, do you know like yesterday how they had two of the little side things? There's just one today. So there's less here today. So I said we go around the Connies, go underground, then go to the, the right side, yeah? So we'll go left onwards. So left. Ah, where are you behind me? And there's Priority, got just in his underwear. His upgrade from his <laughs> his gown. Me. <laughs> He's a crazy uh, Congo. <laughs> Conga. Give me chills. Smallest of the I'm biggest. Chills, yeah, smallest of the biggest. Yeah, let me play. <laughs> Amazing to think that RSI makes one of the smallest ships on the market oh my God. and one of the biggest. That's cool. It would take about 50 auroras laid end to end to equal the length of one mighty bangle. Wow. <sighs> my lag is bad. So we have a Connie. Which, which Connie is this one? Is this the regular Connie? No. I say constellation, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm saying it's a regular Connie. There's obviously there's four different ones, isn't there? This one is the Quilla. I don't think they should have put NPCs there. I, I, I don't think... I, I think the NPCs walk around, but they seem to always be reading it when I come to read it. So I had that before, like, sometimes I come on the day and they'll walk off from it. I just think they're just there when I'm here. This is the Quilla, by the way. This is the... the... the Explorer version. This version, if I'm not mistaken, comes with a Rover if you buy this, and also comes with... I think it's the... Uh, with a Merlin. Where like well, Tiffy's version doesn't come with the rover, but she but she has the same thing. This also has a scanning thing instead of an extra turret. So if you want to come up with me, we'll have a quick look. But it should look similar to Tiffy's, but I think the turret's different because it has a scanner. If I can get on the bloody eh, lift. Eh. Eh. Are you on it? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going up. Who else is on it? Was I not playing character getting on it then? <laughs> they fell off though. So this is, like I said, uh, this isn't Tiffy's version. Tiffy's has a bit more firepower. But this is similar. And you see there's the back, you see how similar they are. I don't know if the missile has the same amount. I like the pilot seat. I like the pilot seat on there. Not the two like bright enough, but I like the main one. Yeah. And there's the mill in the back. 
But this is the most expensive out of the Connies, but it comes with a rover, or it'll matter like. Well, I don't think it's showing in the back of this one right now. So if you bought this Connie, you would get a rover and a Merlin. What if you just came with Merlin? Oh, so if I buy the, this Connie, I get a Merlin automatically? Yeah, you get a Merlin automatically, and you get a rover with this one. This is the Quill you get you. I believe this one, obviously in dollars, is about $320. Where Tiffy's is like two hundred and forty dollars because she doesn't get the rover. Did you buy that? This one, uh, this was a second ship. Not this particular Connie, obviously, but her Connie's the second ship she bought. She bought the Avenger originally, and then she bought the Connie with the actual upgraded physical package. So when they finally release the game, she'll get a physical collector's edition. Like I won't get one because at the time we were low in money. So when I just came moved to America, so about twenty fourteen, and we didn't have much money. And I said we'll get you yours, and then hopefully next year I can get mine. But they stopped selling them, so I never got my version. So she'll get a little Connie module and stuff. But when the game's finally released, but yeah, if you bought this, it's obviously whatever the pound version is, but three hundred twenty dollars roughly, and you get a Rover in the back automatically, and you'll get the Merlin with it. Well, technically, you're married, so what is yours? Yeah, I know, but there's four different collector's editions. I want to get the Freelancer one for me, because my ship favourite ship, she with the Connie one. So, I don't get the Freelancer version. I did contact them afterwards, so if anybody ever contacts you and says, I don't want to cancel my order, because a lot of people have been doing that, you know, can, you know, contact me and I'll buy it. <laughs> and they said, there's nothing they can do about it. Because, uh, we had a, a, a one of the... What was it called? Ah, uh, jump points. They do their books physical, and we bought the original one and the second one, and then we had this horrible thing that happened. Basically, there was a flood here, and it ruined my book. We contacted them, told them about it, and they gave me a free one, and replaced it. What I didn't think they would do. What was awesome of them? I'm going in down the elevator because because they, they they sell them limited as well. So if you didn't buy them at the time, you couldn't get any, and they they need to go roll back, and we'll send you one out. And we're really sorry what happened to yours. So I've basically got a free one of it. What replaced the one that got ruined. I'm outside the Connie, by the way, now. Are you out? Uh, uh, that any... uh, that's you coming down now, is it? Okay, it seems to be running a bit better right now. What's good? Yep, there you are. Can you see me? I'm just standing over here. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. So we'll look at the Connies, then we'll go downwards. So, like, what's your next Connie? It'd be the same, more or less, layout, wouldn't it, in each one? Uh, the Phoenix isn't. That's why I'm going to show you the Phoenix one. I think I don't know if I've seen it in the past, but you can re look at it. This one is the Andromeda. So, this one is Tiffy's version. So, we've seen that one and been in that one multiple times. So, as I said to you, has it has a turret versus a scanner of the other one, and it only comes with a Merlin, no Rover. So, she has to put her own vehicle in it. Okay, then we have this one is the tourist. This one is the newest one. This is the cheapest Connie and it's basically the um, storage cargo. So we might look in this one quick because this one is, is completely new. I don't know if it's exactly the same or what but it doesn't come with anything. So we'll look at this one quick, okay? Just to see if this one's the same. Because right. this one finally came in the game I think last patch or the patch before. So I haven't been in this one myself. It's supposed to have a lot more cargo space and this is the cheapest con Connie if you want the Connie. Cheap, dirt, dirt, cheap, this is the cheapest one to get. You won't get a mill one or anything with this one, though. You on it? Like this. Going up. But this one's also the most cargo space in it. And probably less gunpowder and missiles. Okay, so is there anything different in this one? Oh my god, look, no one play counters in here. That's creepy. Look, you see them? Just staring at us in the cargo hold. Just... It's the creep. <laughs> I know, but that's the creep. I'm expecting that, were you? It's like Star Trek, innit? That's... You're just chilling in there. I guess someone lowered this part of it and then they walked in and they, they brought it up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't... You know this one what reminds me of? What? Star Trek, the Borg. Yeah! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, right six. I count six right now. No, seven. There. These two are inside each other. There's two guys oh. inside each other over here. Do you see them? Two guys inside. Well, yeah, look at these two. I'm staring at. They're inside each other. 
do you, well, I don't want to see that. And it's also in the dark. The one one bad thing about doing this in a regular clothes, we don't have a light. Because normally when I did it in my suit, I would have put in a lot of torture when I needed to. So is there anything yeah, different with this car any other than the cargo stuff and I think it has less weapons? Look wise. I think it's just... Oh, this is different, isn't it? This bit looks different. Oh yeah, here. 100% look. This is where the Merlin is. It's a floor now. So there's more cargo space at the back, look. This is where the Merlin sticks out. Oh, dark. But this is where the Merlin sticks out normally. Oh. Instead, this is actual cargo space. So yeah, you can't have the Merlin or Archimedes in this. So that's different. Oh. And I feel these doors are red too, what's pretty cool. <laughs> but that's different. The doors are a different colour. But yeah. Is that a cargo door? What? Down there where they, the, the crew oh, are. Oh. F. I can. It's flashed green. I can do something. With yeah, you you can lower that basically. That's probably how they got on it. You can lower this. This is where you put the vehicles. Oh, can we lower it and save them all? We could try if, you, if, if it worked. Remember, Tiffy's was messing up with, with hers last patch, and we couldn't get it lowered. Um, does this button lower? Or is it the one on the bottom you have to do? I think there's a button on the bottom. We will save you. Go down. <laughs> there should be a button on the side somewhere that does it, I believe. Ah, here. I'm pressing it. Did it work? Oh, you were lowering. We're lowering. Oh, no, someone stayed. Someone's up there in the, in the corner bit. You see them in the corner. She stayed. We tried. Let's see if they walk Are they walking up? No. They just stand still. Yeah, and these two now in the light inside each other. Oh, my God, he's breathing in and out. It looks like he's kind of... Rubbing their arms against each other. Okay, let's go to the, the next carny. What's the Phoenix? What's the. I believe you've seen it once, but I'm not 100% sure. Can you punch them out? I don't know. I didn't try to run into them. And obviously, it's arms its own. Obviously, you can't attack people right now. No. Well, they're a part of the ship forever now. Apparently. <laughs> is it the Phoenix over here? This is the posh one. This is the one for the VIPs. This is the one where the inside is completely different. And it has a tubby. I think you may have looked in it once in the past, but I don't 100% remember. So we'll go up and have a look. And then we'll head to the other, the downstairs and head to the other room. And then if you want, we can go back to the yesterday's stuff. To finish off looking at that. Okay. And the, it's one thing I don't like with the oh, event. I'm not that tired. Cool elevator. The only thing I don't like with the event sometimes when it has rent in the way the doors. So sometimes you can't click on the door because of the rent. You say you're alright, you're not that tired, or you are tired. Eh, uh, nah, keep going for a bit. Okay. You wanna. I said at least get the RSI done, and then I said if you wanna go back to yesterday's, we can before it disappears tomorrow. As you see, this was completely different once you get into the back area. This is the front area where the crew works. Now go through here. And you'll see it's completely it's different. That's always the same way when you see like the pilots. So well, yeah, this down now is this different now? To the Vicarnis. Yeah, let's see it's posher. Yeah, this, this is probably a piece. As you see, there's a bed here. There's a nice little um, yeah, fish. I always told though, don't log in in the bed because there's a bug. Hmm, I'm not telling you to get in the bed. I'm showing you where it is. You have to like reset your character if you log out in the bed. Okay, this open. What's this open? I've been through that. Oh, that's the door. I just shut myself in here. <laughs> I've never had a problem with the logout so far, but I could be been lucky so far. As you can see, there's a seat. I like it. It's nice. Yeah, this is for VIPs. I think it has a bar. It has a tubby in here. This down here is a tubby. It opens up. I'm not sure how. You can see you have the big bed for the big VIP. Some and this, co the yeah, this comes, yeah, so that's the cargo area. And then it has the Archimedes. A ship instead of Merlin. So it's like the posh version, basically, of the Merlin, the Archimedes that one is. Basically that one's a little faster where the Merlin's a bit has a bit more firepower. But here, if we can work out how to do it, this is a tubby. Oh. There's a thing that takes you downwards over here, by the way, watch watch that. But it, so, something should open this up and it's a tub a, a, a tubby basically. I'm not sure which. I challenge anyone's like 
computer to run at this move though. So you have to have like top spec, don't you? It's more to do with the servers right now because people have said if you get in a server, it's completely fresh. This runs really good, as long as you obviously got a good spec. And people before, a while back, used to be able to turn, play the game offline. They found a way to do that on way patches back, like 2.0 came out. And back then they said the right difference was different, area. yeah. I can't work it out which button it is. This is nice. But this here, like I said, this is the... <laughs> the player just threw, fell through the elevator on my screen. <laughs> and see, there's a bar to stock up. And you've got a nice table here for the VIPs to have a meeting. You know, imagine it's like a little org ship or something. Have your little meetings at. But like I said, this thing down here, I don't know how to open it, but that's a tubby if you can open it. And I believe... Tubby? Yeah, you know, a hot tub. I nickname tubbies. This circle here, it opens up, but I don't know how to open it. But there's a way to open it, and that's, that's the hot tub. So a little jacuzzi, I guess, would work. And I believe this here takes us somewhere too. See? This little left here. Oh, down we go. And now this is where the cargo is. This, um, see, this is the cargo. Oh, there's a non-play catcher in here too. So this is the cargo hold now. Get what? You get in yeah, can you lower this part of it? Oh, there's a button here. We might be able to. It feels like you can. I'm, I'm lowering it. There we go. See? Oh, and now out of the back. Yes. So again, as long as the roof isn't too tall, you might be able to fit a vehicle in here. But obviously the roof might be a lot smaller. It feels like coordinates of that note NPC, mm -hmm. if it's underneath the ship, he's going to get spawned in the ship. Yeah, I guess. I, mine froze right now. I can't move. I'm staring upwards. So give me a second to, for the game to catch up. It was working really well in them two places too. Then I just lowered it. It just kind of froze on me. Come on, game. Come here. Oh, I, I'm mine just moved. I'm looking at your naked legs now. And now you're slowly moving one frame past me. Okay, can, can ah, I get, Okay, I'm off the ship, I'm still getting lag. Okay, where's the side bit? Oh, I'll do it underneath first. I'll do it underneath first, so the, the stairs are right here. I'll do it underneath first, and we'll do the side bit. You following me? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Yours are working well right now, then, because mine's getting a bit laggy. It's got lag to it, but I can negotiate it. It's fine. Like I said, mine's running better now, but. Sometimes it like just bleh, just like freezes everything. So here's the the US Rover. I believe I own this a version of this, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. What? I think I'm going to get that ship that you got though. Which the which ship? Motorbike one. Looks like a motorbike. Oh. I fell off it a load of times. So oh, you the um, oh, Dragonfly, where you could be in space and ground. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's a good combination for you because it will fit in your cutie perfect, one of them. And that's what I re re originally uh, recommended you for, was they had a pack at the time, a pirate pack, cut up for $150, so I don't know what the pounds were. Well, actually came with a dragonfly, it was like a five or cheaper a cutie and a dragonfly. But time you, oh, I'm going to buy something, they stopped doing it. So it cost you like a five or extra now, what would have done back then. Okay, so here's the rovers. Wheels don't seem real, in it? Wheels the wheels on like wheels. This is built by RSI specifically for the planet side explorer. The US the URSA, sorry, rover, offers civilization civ I can say civilization, civilians. Military grade all train capacities and stands as the rugged standard in ground based scouting, mapping and discovery. Uh, and this is why I like this one because technically it shuts up, you know, around you so you can breathe inside it. That's the one drawback with like the dragonfly. You're in the open, so you still need to have your suit on. This you can technically go around with a suit off. But you can also go in space with that with this one. You can't have throws again. Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the ramp access right now and the throws again. Alright. Mm. I had a little inside. I like it. It reminds me of like space moon walking. Yeah. Or well, you're walking on the spot on my screen. Um, mine's just throws right now. Like I said, I think minimum having two ships that are bought to help with the game and also if you could swap between because we're technically still alpha is a good thing and maybe having one little ground vehicle. And if you're going to go for a ground vehicle, unless you love mining, then you pick the rock. If not love mining, Dragonfly is probably the best one because you technically can be a little space snub as well, as well as a ground vehicle, so it's like both. 
Okay, I'm kind of in. I see a floating shirt with no arms. So I believe that's you. And I'm apparently into the corner, so I must have walked into the corner. Yeah, you have... Oh my god, you just have teeth and eyes and a hat. You have no skull right now. Yeah, you're looking at me. Yeah, oh god, you, you now have a skull. But I don't... If you're, Are you standing near the vehicle? Because the vehicle's not there right now, so it hasn't loaded up yet. Well... How do you mean? Like, really, really near the vehicle? Yeah, basically, I'm looking at you. Is the vehicle's next to you? Because if it is, it's not on my screen right now. Like, directly behind me? Yes, is the vehicle next to you? Yes or no? Well, to the right of me. There's no vehicle on my screen, it's just got you. I've got nothing. I've got, yeah, I've got nothing behind me. Oh, okay, turn left, there's a vehicle. Okay, I thought you were closer to it than that. <laughs> I'm waiting for the vehicle to pop up, but I just had to turn my head left. Okay, I'm still getting a bit of lag, but... Okay, I'm moving, I'm moving. Okay. So what were you saying is wrong with the tyres? Because the tyres look all gay. Oh, 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 can't get words that look good to me. Well, other than being dirty. Not like normal tyres on cars. Well, obviously this is bigger than a car. Like the trims and stuff. Oh, you mean the middle? Yeah. Well, I guess that's supposed to be because of. It don't seem normal. Well, yeah, but remember this is supposed to be on another planet and rugged. But the, I mean the tyre itself, the black stuff. That looks fine to me, looks good. Just dirty. Well, like, trims is where we, like, find pride in the tyres in, like, cars. Yeah. But also remember the difference... It feels like they should have done more work on that bit. But also remember as well, different in-game manufacturers have different styles. The posh style, so the one who probably loves the trims, that's the origin. They probably will do that. RSI, if I'm not mistaken, they're more... Basically, get the job done and do it well. Where, like, you know, the, the Cutty, the um, Drake, they just want it to work and they don't care what it looks like. Origin want it to look amazing and smooth, so when we see their vehicles, you probably will see more like you're suggesting, basically. So, inside here. It seems like just um, brand. Yeah, like I said. That, wow. Yeah, like I said, the brand. Like, basically, that, that's RSI is that, that is in game company. Like Origin. I've been in there, I've been in the seat. Yeah, as you see, it's. I like the idea of it, it's nice. I like piloting one of these, well, driving one of them. Well, you could get this instead, I'm just not sure if this would fit into your, cu uh, your cutlass. You have to look it up if it does. That's why I pulled me off. Like, the Dragonfly definitely will. Dragonflies definitely will. Like, You'll like jumping oh, up. I'm nice going to stay still. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it, yeah. yeah, yeah. You look really excited. <laughs> yeah. You see, on top, it has some guns, driving. so obviously, with the second pilot, the co pilot, I believe, uses the guns. Ow. And I, is the I'll second one the same? Island. Or do they have different versions of this? Focus Explorer built, yeah, I believe it's the same one. No. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else down here. We are at a. Oh, yeah, there's another room down here. Oops, who's pushing me? Is it a non play character? Rude much. Yeah, we're on the Polars, Perseus, and the Scorpius. So that, I believe that'd be the display hall. You following me? Yeah, okay, I'm going left. Right. Spread around once. Mm. The edge you see the hologram, because this one's a concept one, so it's not out yet. This is if it will stop blurring on me so I can read it. Come on, focus, focus. It's the Polars. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the medical one. I believe this is basically the big medical ship, if I'm not mistaken. Well, if you go mm -hmm. medical, do you get the bunny from being a medical? Well, like I was saying before, technically it's not fully in yet. We just the first stuff's in, in this patch. Obviously, the, the goal is every profession should bring good money at some point, but it's uh, risk versus reward. So before you log in and make a character, you can have like an idea that you're going to be. Yeah, if that's what you want to play as once it's fully implemented. Because like now, I believe if you die on a planet or well, not die, you're you're, you're injured, you're incapped, it comes up. Do you wish to send a beacon out for help? Cost you fifteen thousand credits. Now the first player who picks that up could come and rescue you, or they could come and kill you and steal your stuff and walk off with it. But if they rescue you. They could take you back to a medical area and they'll, you know, uh, heal you, and they've got fifteen thousand for it. 
Speaking of that, I, I watched um, oh, another YouTuber. What's his name? Um, Cobro. Cobro. Uh, they, they, he was trying to be a pirate, and he basically said they shot one of their players one in his guild, and he said, um, "Put the fifteen thousand up when the guy whoever shows up, we will rob him." The guy came, who happened to be another Twitch streamer. And he basically threatened to give him goals. Give us five UEC, five UEC. They got the five UEC, ran off. Said, we're brilliant, we did it. And he goes, yeah, but the guy got 15,000 for getting my medical beak. And then we robbed him for five. And he's, we're really bad at this. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, 15,000 right now is the going prize to rescue someone. But as you put it up, you don't know who's coming to you. So someone could basically pick it up, come get the 15,000 and rob you of all your stuff. So a lot of people are just respawning and coming back to get the stuff and not using it right now. But the, the, you know the Cutlass, again, the Cutlass Red, that's the ambulance version. So the idea of that, you get someone that. Yeah, that's the, that's the, uh, again, I forget which tier. That's basically an old cop car, so it's for bounty hunting. So it's bounty hunting now, basically. But the Red... I, have you got MP, MMP on it? I'm not sure it might have. I can't. I cannot remember if it does or not. Because I know my, yeah, the Warlock has an EMP, my Hawk has an EMP, and of course the, the Mantis, that has the thing where you can actually stop them quantum and knock them out quantum and then stop them quantum then. Uh, but as I was saying with the, 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 the Cutlass Red, I cannot remember which tier way it is, it's tier 3 or tier 1, whichever direction it is. But it's basically the, the most basic one for it. So you get them on, you stabilise them, you get them to one of the medical uh, hospitals, drop them off, you get paid. It's the gist of it. Where my Carrick, and I believe the 890 Jump, has tier 2 beds, what's obviously middle. And then, of course, all the hospitals have, again, if it's tier 1, tier 3, I get which way around it is. Basically the best beds. But yeah, this is the big medical one. So I believe, if not mistaken, you will be able to pick on this how you have the beds. So you can have two, again, let's just say tier 3 is the best beds. I might be getting a mix up which way around. Just, 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 just I'm say tier 3 is best. You can have two tier 3 beds in this. Or you can have something like, I believe it's maybe eight tier 1 beds. Or maybe something like three or four tier 2 and one tier, tier what, uh, 3 or something. So you can actually put in this the way you want it. But if you want the best beds, you can only have two. But that's as basic as possible, like a moving hospital for your retina. Like, or you can just have them, like I said, something like eight, ten of the, the, the actual worst beds are possible. If you just want to have it to get people from A to B. So this is what this is for, basically. So I go to the next side. This one is... Let me read what this one is. Oh, this is... A, uh, oh, the, Pis the Pisces. This is a gunship. Cool. I'll read what it says about this. When RSI set out to make the definite m modern statement in persuasive prevention, I think that says, they looked into their own past to the historic gunships design, Pisces, capable of shredding subcapital classes, Goliaths, the mere presence of a Pisces gunship in a blockade or a patrol squad is enough to make your most aggressive enemies think twice before engaging, just like in Vincent's namesake. So this is a big gunship, basically. Obviously, it's not in game officially yet. See the weapons yeah. on it. Yeah, obviously, it's not officially in game yet. So hence, why we got these holograms. What did the other one say very quickly? I didn't read it. I just told you what I remembered about it. Excuse me, buddy. You're in the way. You're in the way. Uh, convert the pilot is a nimble convert class ship that packs a powerful punch with a full armament of. Oh, this might not be the. I might have got this mixed up. May not be the actual uh, medical ship I was thinking of. Turrets and torpedoes. Intended for use as both a naval patrol ship and to serve as a flagship on a military operations. Polis has the capacity to perform search and rescue operations. Okay, it might be then. Light strike missions and general security patrols. The Polis includes the factories to repair, rearm, refuel, a single fighter, light bomber and support ship. Okay. So that's what this one is. It's not actually the one I was thinking it was then. Or have I, have I got the wrong side? Let me go to the other side. Don't we? Well, I'm alright. Oh, you gone... That's oh, and here's the Scorpius. Okay, so the one over there, that, like I said, I, I, well, medical thing, I don't think it is the medical one, but the stuff I said was correct for the, the correct medical ship when, when we find that one. But these are Scorpius. These are basically fighters. 
Are these heavies? These are heavy fighters. Adaptable by wing. So these, if you think of Star Wars, these are closest to the ones as the Rebel Star Wars ships. By wing configuration. Yeah, remember their ships. Look at them. Don't they look like a Rebel starship? Well, are you saying that? Oh, you saying that because the Rebel. Yeah. Like if you look at them, don't they remind you that like the Rebel, you know, the Rebel scum from Star Wars, some of their ships. Well, what ship in Star Citizen will remind you of the Tie Fighter? Don't I don't think they have one right now at the Master Tie Fighter, but this is the Rebels. Well, if you're listening to this now. Star Citizen, maybe it might do at some ship. point or something similar. But this is with adaptable by wing configuration and revolutionary rail mountain remote turret. The Scorpius offers unprecedented fire coverage, allowing for both defensive and assault. Uh, what's that word? He, he, the guy's in the way. Assault, what? I can't see that word. The guy won't move. Assault minded applications. So I believe this is the one where basically the, the turret, you can actually move it up and down. But once it's in place and you're firing, it's locked in. But you can move it where you want, theoretically. Okay, that's cool. Let's go to the, the last area then. You're following. But yeah, that's a, they're fighters, they are. And there's a place to sit over there if you're tired, by the way. <laughs> The down. stairs. I mean your character. <laughs> Remember, it's the mouse wheel. Mm -hmm. to move shift as well to run, but mouse wheel. It helps with it, but shift it's like sprint, sprint. It's both. Okay, we need the open hall, so the apex is shut there. Okay, shut over there. I bet I've gone the opposite direction to where it is, haven't I? To make it like the long route round. Yep, them sides are shut. And at the side where we're running past, you can see like all the different ship parts you can buy or rent right now. Well, Matt, I think when the game gets fully like ahead of its stuff, then I'll start investing ship parts. I think. I've done a little bit, but not much. Like, I take my Gladius for example. Like you have one. Oh, here we are, the Apex Hall. Uh, and then I would change the weapons on it. Uh, and see, especially if it was came, um, uh, you know, gimbaled versus the the, the non-gimbaled, I would put the gimbaled on it because I fight a better with them, like you, because you're using your joystick and stuff now. You want the the non the gimbaled versions because you will, should play better with that. So I would do that. Yeah. Frog. So basically, I do that with especially if you say that you're playing a lot this month and you use the Gladius a lot. Make sure you have gimbaled if you if you Keep yeah stickers, yeah. Make sure you have like the gimbaled on if you mouse and keyboard. If you're not using mouse and keyboard, have the non gimbaled on. Right. Yeah, right. I stopped. Stop. I was just talking. I stopped. <laughs> so I done that a little bit, and of course the mining laser for my my prospector. I put the better mining laser on. That's the other one I've done. I've messed with. But other than that, I don't do that much with it right now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to the Auroras first. Yep, this is the LN. What is the light fighter with more of rebus shield generated? This is basically the fighting version of the Aurora. Shield generating a pair of additional weapon hard points. The Legionnaire is a dedicated combat fighter built to handle any obstacle the universe can throw at it. So this is the fighting version. This has got the, the most hard points of the Auroras if you want a fighter. For the Auroras, this is the best one. Are you next to me? Looking at what I'm looking at. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, but you, look, you saw what I was looking at. This middle one is the MR. Is that? I think that's the default one. If I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. Light fighter. That's one. Of yeah, they're all starters, but I'm saying there's slight variations in each one, and they have slightly different roles. Like I said, that one, the Legionnaire, is the full one fighter. So if you want the best fighter in the Auroras, that you want in the Legionnaire. This version, you perhaps you're looking for something that offers carrying capacity, but has combat capabilities too. The Aurora Macro, I'm probably a bit butchering the name, because of a pair of bearing quality lasers and high quality gun cool system. So I believe this is the default Aurora, what's basically has a bit of fine capacity, and you just jumped in front of my face, and has cargo space. The next one. I like that look. 
This one here is the LX. This is my version. I originally got this MR version, upgraded for $5, and got the LX version. At the time, it get, the upgrade for $5 gave me a leather seat and four missiles on top. I believe they've altered it since, so you can only have two missiles on top now, because I believe the Legionnaire has four missiles. But this is my version, this one. Also, it had a bit of red on it, and I like red, because at the time we didn't know about the paint jobs and stuff. So this is the one that this is the one I own. This one. How much was that again? When I joined, remember I'm in pounds. This is a Kickstarter. I got that for sixteen pound. Basically, was a, and then I had five dollars later, about a year later, when I got into it. Uh, and at that point, how much is the retail? Uh, I now? believe it'd be forty-five pounds to buy that now, if I'm not mistaken. With the package, when mine came with the package. Forty-five pounds, or oh, sorry, forty-five dollars. So whatever, whatever your starting package for in pounds will be. I'll probably tie it. Just like the popularity of the game now. With well, I believe when the game's finally released, you'll be paying sixty dollars for Squadron and sixty dollars for the game when it's finally released. Well, yeah, exactly. Obviously, when Squadron Part Two comes out, what will probably be a year or two later after the first Squadron comes out, that'll be another sixty dollars. And then again, when Part Three comes out a couple of years later, that'll be. Oh, yeah, this is the Mantis. This is the one what I was telling you that can uh, stop quantum and keep you from quantum driving. So this is basically, it's like, a, basically you can use this as a bounty ship or a criminal keeping people in place so you can rob them, basically. So like if you usually can't quantum and, it, and your, sh your ship is fine, there's probably one of these around. Kill it to stop it. If you want to go up in this if you haven't seen it before. You want a little... I don't have a Mantis. If, if, if you got in one I had, then I might have it as a... Oh, wrong button. I'm just trying to rent it. Don't rent. Cancel. If you if I was in one... Okay, how do you go up with it? It's telling me to rent. I don't want to rent. It's Constellation, was it? Uh, one second, let me call this. Ah, there we're going up. Basically, if, if, if I had managed to show you, it would have been because of uh, subscribers at the time. Oh, yeah, I didn't no, think you had, because I don't own one of these. But like I said, with with this little baby, you it. Yeah. Oh, you can you can read it. Good. Yeah. See. Yeah. So basically, like someone, it has two two versions of it. One where it blasts out, so as you're going past, it will knock you out of quantum, and then it has to turn off to the other mode where it will keep out a problem snare, keeps you in place. So you have to outrun that snare to get quantum to work again. Or you have to destroy this thing to get quantum to work again. Or the person turns it off, obviously. So again, it can be used for like, oh, I'm keeping you here. Now you give us our money. As I got my two buddies in other ships, are going to blast you apart. Or it could basically be, oh, I'm trying to bounty you. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot for exterior. Let me look in the. If I can get into it. I'll see quick. Oh, the bed's on the side. I missed that just. But yeah. Yeah. And I said if you want to use snaring and stuff, it's really good. But it's not. doesn't have very. Weapons aren't very good. So, in other words, if you're trying to rob people in this ship or you're trying to go out to bounty and you stop them, like you could pull like an Idris out with this baby and then they just look at you like. Just blast them and you boom. <laughs> so you need other ships with you if you want to, pretending what you're trying to do with it. But yeah, you probably see a lot of these when the verse goes live as pirates with a few other buddies in other ships, you know, with the guns trained on you have to knock you out of hyperspace or whatever, you know, jump space. Quantum space, I can remember. I'm going through all the things. Quantum, isn't it, for this? Okay, which side did we start from? Right, so where, where are you? I am now. Where are you? you should right. Ah, there you are, okay. Come in. So right side of the ship, yeah. on the left side. So these are the last two Auroras. This one, is, yes, this is the cheapest one in game. You can buy this without a game package for $20 right now. This is like the weakest Aurora, but has the best, um, uh, the, the best cargo capacity. So if you basically bought a package, 
You already had a package, you just want extra ship. This is $20 on its own, just as an extra ship. This is the cheapest shipping game, if I'm not mistaken. Chris Peter. Quietly, thank you. There you go. <laughs> on the other wow. side. <laughs> and CL? What's the CL one again? I can't remember what this one's role is. Light Freighter. Customized for merchant and trading executions, the Aurora Clipper is the perfect vessel for aspiring entrepreneurs and seasoned traders alike. Swapping a smaller power plant and armor capacities for expanded cargo capacity. Clipper ups the ante for personal merchant craft. Oh, so this one basically is actually the more cargo. I thought this one had it. So what's the difference with this one? Because this is the cheapest one. This is a Pathfinder. Dorora is the modern day descendant of Robert Space Industries X7 spacecraft, which tested the very first jump engines utilized to a T. The Aurora is the perfect beginner ship. What it lacks in style, it makes up for ample room in upgrade modules. So I guess this is basically the most basic one, and then doesn't really have weapons or anything other than the two at the front, but it probably has a lot of upgrading space for it. So this is like $20, and then you go out and upgrade it, wouldn't you? So this is like the. Like, if you lost every shipping game and you need to ship now, this would probably be the cheapest ship to, to grab in-game. You know, with in-game money to rent or to buy. So yeah, that's RSI's day. That's everything, isn't it? So do you want to go back and look at yesterday's a little bit? Or oh, no, what are you done for the day? You have a lot of luck, do you? Okay, come on then. Yeah. Not too we'll go in the middle because the bit you didn't really see, wasn't it? Because I said I lost the footage with you in the side bit, but I went and did all three in the end, so... So, if you follow me, we headed to, we got to head to the lift. Because by 11 o'clock tomorrow, yesterday's will be gone. And the new one will probably in the place of it. Push the boundaries. Mm -hmm. But, obviously, um, not talking about the lag and stuff, but what do you think of the event itself so far? Obviously, don't think about the lag. Just imagine it was running smooth. What they've done, what do you think? Do you think this is like a good event each year? Because technically you can rent these and everything. Well, I would get more, like, Things like, like a hat or hat that you Last year, as long as you showed up for the event, you got a jacket you could keep, and I have that jacket. Didn't know about that at the event, and that didn't like Tiffy once, and she didn't get it, what sucks. This year, uh, by showing up each day, you will get a forum badge for the official site by showing up every day. So that you'll be able to keep. So if you want to change your badge and you're talking to forum a lot, uh, you can get in, did you, in time? I've hit the no. door button. You in? This was Apex, right? So we're going to Zafir again. So tomorrow is Aegis, basically. Tomorrow's like the Avengers and stuff. We'll be looking at Avengers and that tomorrow. And the rest of their manufacture. Also, this gives you a good chance to look and get an idea of what manufacture does what ships too. Well, I think it's quite neat. Because sometimes you may see, oh, well, the Avengers nice ship. This is nice ship, but not really the same manufacture. This way you get to see what's what, basically. And I hear the door open, but I can't move. <laughs> Did it shut? Um, I, I I'm looking at the door now. Did it shut on us? Did you? Yeah. Yep. Uh, that open just in the normal left. Okay, I'm trying to go back to the door, but I'm getting lag again. If you can press the Zaffy door or doors, it should open for us. I'm trying to do it. Okay, I pressed it. I am. I'm lagging. Okay, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. Are you, are you in the place? Lagging and I'm looking at the woman saying living yeah, it... stars. And I'm saying <laughs> her breasts. Well, yesterday I saw a guy holding a woman's boobs when we came into this. And I actually looked and read it after her and somebody put that up. because goes, what's in this? And he goes, sexual harassment. <laughs> and all this all going. I think I'm back. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm trying to pass the video top it loads up a bit better for me. So when you can go up the stairs. Lil. My back. Oh no. Well, a little bit. 
Bloody hell, this woman is mad spot. Yeah, that's what, that's what I saw yesterday, and it looks like he's grabbing her boobs. <laughs> I think that's a bug. Feels like they need to compensate for this. One. That's why I said I'm always mixed with the free I events, because it, it, it it's supposed to be the part where you actually sh show the game off and get new players to join. But I always feel it's like the worst time for new players to join. Basically, you need to try it during this, have enough patience to stew by the game, and then a week after the event's over, now you get to play it properly. <laughs> but some players won't do that. They'll oh. It, I, I can't get out of bed. It, it, you know, like the other day, it pulls you back to bed three times. Some players do that, and you see it in Reddit. Games still uh, buggy after five years, not playing. You know, I tried last year, same thing. Tried this year. They've done nothing to the game. It's like, they have done. It's just you're not giving it a chance. And that's what I was trying to emphasize when I wanted you to play it. Like, give it a chance, and you'll see the game can be amazing. But also, it can be one of the most buggiest things out there, because it is still a lot of alpha. Well, I was trying to get you to see some of the good stuff, and then I know you would like it, but it's just if like, you came in and you saw oh, nothing but bug, 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 bug. And I feel in our sessions we have had bug, 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 but then we've also had some amazing stuff when we played. And that's what I wanted you to see. And that's why I think, that's why I like it. And I think it's why you do like it, even though, like you're saying, you wish this didn't do this, it's that same with me. That one, I own that, that comes with a Carrick. That's a nice little starter ship too, but that comes free with a Carrick, that does it. It's my... Basically, think of Star Trek, do you know how they have the little uh, transport ships that take you to the ground? It's basically like that. Have a look inside, it's not very big, but it's pretty neat, the Pisces. I bought a water bottle. Well, I, I bought a water bottle too to drink. Because my guy was down to something like 87 or something, so he needs some water. You go in the back here, you see he's got, I think, three seats, a little area for cargo. Where'd you go? You didn't, oh, there you are. Yeah, go in the back. Have a look. But I have this seat, this is the ship that comes with my Carrick. So do you know my little area at the top for spaceships, this is what's meant to be in it. So anything this size, I can replace in my Carrick and have instead. My Aurora actually fits in my Carrick, because it's basically about the size of this. This is a bit wider. So I can put my Aurora instead of this. Well, some players buy this as like a starter ship. Me. But yeah, this comes with the Carrick. And as in the middle ship, like I said, is the Carrick, not the Redeemer, because you, you put the Redeemer and it wasn't loading up properly for me when we were on together. So you've been in that ship. That's the Carrick. <laughs> in the middle. Yeah, been in that. Um, is this the arrow? This is the arrow. We saw it that or the battery sub's gonna get. The arrow is a oh it's a light fighter too. I could give it my head is a heavy for some reason, but it's light fighter too. I personally like I prefer the Guardians because yeah. like I said I've got like a lot of meaning to it because of when they released it on my wedding and the first ship that came out of Britain, because it's the first ship Manchester ever made. It's Manchester's favourite ship, so it's a gold standard ship, so it gets most of the updates at first. The Gladys is rated better than the Aero. Yeah. Or the Anvil or whatever. And the Hornet it. ship is what the what American side likes more. Oh, speaking of Manchester, you heard they are moving their current... I believe they have 400 employees in Manchester right now. They're moving them to a bigger office and the goal is to get a 1,000 employees in that office. Over the next three years, they're hiring 300 people and I think another... 100 or 200 a couple of years later. So they're really expanding it. Yeah, Manchester. What brand Buccaneers, is Buccaneer? Drake. This is the Gladiator. We don't no, we, we, we've only had uh, this one and RSI. So far, we've only done two days. I almost got Buccaneers is a good ship, but again, it's very Drake. Basically, it does what it says on the tin, but they're not really good into safety and stuff. So basically, like, they want to rock it with some guns, that's what they get you. The safety aspect's not very good of it, and it's not very stylish, it's very... Oh, it does what it says. Now, now go, it's a nice cheap ship. That's why a lot of the pirates in-game use it in the law, because they're cheap. But, and they're trying to, in law, we don't sell to pirates, we sell for every man, but, but the pirates like them because they're cheap and easy to replace. But yeah, this ship, 
here, the Gladiator. This was the... F when Arena Commander days, before we had the PU officially, when this came out, this dominated Arena Commander because it was the one with the most missiles and literally you had players would missile spam you, kill you, run out of missiles, then they'll self-destruct and respawn with full missiles again. So when this came out, this was devastating. It was also the first uh, ship that had two players as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, actually, the turret, because the Super Hornet, I believe, even though it had the second person, you couldn't do that in Arena Commander at the time. This was the first one that allowed you to be in a different turret. And you could, uh, in Arena Commander at the time, you could uh, eject from one ship and then jump into the turret and then two people could use it. Well, and now I believe it won't let you... Yeah, I believe I people won't let you do it right now. It's a nice little ship. But it's one that I believe hasn't had many updates, so it's one that needs to go past. So we're to go to the other side and past the, the huge Carrick. Like I said, as soon as I get blading in the game or non-play characters I can hire, I'll be using my Carrick a lot more then. Because right now I cannot use the guns, I need someone in a turret, so if I get attacked I'm completely defenseless. Yeah, you said also. Awesome. Like NPCs. And blading. So blading is basically, it. you only, there may be so much uh, CPU in each ship, and you can say blade a turret, now it's an auto turret for you. But, but some ships will have you know, like 10 turret man turrets, you, if you could probably blade 4 of them, and then there won't be enough power for it. Or And there's going to be other things to blade instead, and that's why like the trade offs are. What's this one? This is the Hurricane. Yes, yeah. I believe this is a heavy fire. Unless I'm mistaken, let me double check and read it if the guy moves in and stop lagging. This is a... Yeah, heavy fire. So this is the, a fighter, but the heavy version. So this is obviously supposed to take more punishment and dish a lot out. Where a light one, you're not supposed to take punishment, you're supposed to get in and out, but you're a lot more nimbler. And then there's one other ship in this area, who I believe... I believe it's my hawk, actually. Have you seen my hawk? I don't know if I really showed you. Yeah, you just, like gave me it's oh, like, test drive. Well, this is obviously the hawk. It's either that or the Raven or whatever. Ain't Raven because I don't have that. The Raven can only have if you had that hard drive. It came through with that hard drive if you uh, bought at the time. So it was like special offer. Is it like two versions? Of I the believe there's only one version of the hawk. The Raven is a saber. The Raven saber. I know. It was either this or the other one. You gave me like two. Yeah, I gave you the saber. Like, oh, I, I, I remember I gave you an arrow that I had access to for the month, so even though I don't own an arrow. I think I gave you Gladius, and I think I gave you a saber. But not the Raven, I don't have the Raven. And maybe the Hawk, but I don't remember. But basically, this was my bounty hunter ship, so it's one seater, and in the back uh, is where, the, where you will get the one person. This here. Oh. Can I open it? It's got some rent. Ah, uh, enter. Oh, open it. I don't want to enter it. This is where the prisoner goes. Are you near me? Can you see? I don't see you. Where are you? Happy man. Okay. See, that's where I put the prisoner. So if I was a bounty hunter, I capture you, I'd be put you in there. And technically I can use it as a bed too. And I believe it has a little spot on it to weapons come down, but I can't remember where that is. Oh, and this is also an EMP ship as well. So I really imagine when you had your Avenger, you and Tiffy and your Avengers, me and this bit, little baby, EMP and them, you two grab a number, we have a lot of bounties, because you have more pods, and I get my one. <laughs> There's a little spot what comes down. Uh, it's hard to find because it's on rent. But there's a little spot that comes down and I can put weapons on it. But it's a lovely ship, I like that ship. You know what else, it's a lot harder to fight in that ship because it's a lot smaller. Oh, oh, that, oh, what you didn't look at underneath, did you, yesterday? Like, go underneath quick. So you did the size of it and go underneath. Did you get to see the new Sparta uh, uh, thingy? Uh, going around, going around, looking at the stairs. There's the stairs. Because I know you like, want to be a bounty hunter. That's why I thought you were going to keep your Avenger for a while. You still there? You're not talking. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello? Have I lost you? What do you mean I don't know? Hello? 
Oh, hello, hello, we can hear you. I heard you there. Hello, what happened? Well, I turned mute on and I can't remember why I, how I turned mute on. Oh, no, but I, 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 I typed to you, I can you hear me? Sweet. I can't hear you, and you put, I don't know. Like, do you know if you can hear me or not? <laughs> what was that? Well, I, speak I was speaking to you, and I was like, I came down the stairs, I said, we're not saying anything. Uh, then then I was like, okay, I'm going to minimise a second because uh, I can't see my Steam thing. Mm. Could you hear me the whole time? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you heard everything I said to you, to you then. So again, I I, yeah. I asked you a question. Like I asked you a question, but I forgot what it was. It's just, uh... Oh, about bounty hunter. You still want to be bounty hunter, wasn't it? I think that's what I was asking you. Well, happy with. Yeah, I know, but you still want to be a bounty hunter when it comes in, in the game. So obviously, at that point. You uh, you be able to probably upgrade to or something like Avenger in game and become a bounty hunter again. Oh, here by the way is the uh, ballistic version. Yeah. By the way, this is the uh, I don't have this. This is basically use them to back ends to take out ships. In the in the PU right now, it's pretty useless. But when they do the big uh, Theater of War mode, apparently really good in that. But yeah, you can open up from here. If I can actually open it. Again, the rent's popping up in the way. Maybe the other side will work better. Oh, the other side's open. Come come around. So, you see you have a, a driver. And I believe the back seat controls the missiles. Or torpedoes. And you got a couple of uh, things for weapons and that to put up here. This is going to be a very useful ship eventually, or sorry, not ship, uh, vehicle. But right now, because remember we're going to be having our own bases and stuff, so having this to defend it will be good. Right now it's pretty useless though. You're going to have to set, basically set, sit there forever, hoping someone could flies past or set something up. Oh, uh, you come at me with a ship, I'll fire at this at you. <laughs> Obviously some Twitch streamers who come on with all 50 people in a team, they do that sort of stuff. They're like 25 vs 25. On the other side is the Sparta was based off that but the back is different this is a new ship oh, I keep on, yeah I keep on a ship, it, the, the new vehicle so if you go in here you can see again I don't see a use for me personally for this why I'm bothered getting it this is for carrying eight different players into battle so if you're a big guild this is cool or a lot, a lot of friends but for me it's you and uh, Tiffy it's a bit useless <laughs> And also the, the front guy, I guess, can use uh, the gun as well. But this is, uh, I think, I believe it's $65 right now, this is, with lifetime insurance. Like, if you're interested in this, for example. I personally don't see a reason for this for my fleet. What do you think of it, anyway? Okay. Okay, we have display, I believe, of something in there. And then they think you've seen everything then. Let me double check. Oh yeah, the Liberator. This is the ship that came out that six hundred dollars. I'm not mistaken, and it's a ship I would like to earn in game because I actually see a, re a re re reason for it. But I don't want to. I think it's a bit expensive for what it is. I won't use it that often right now. But earn it in game, I think at some point. Are you behind me? This what? Well. Yeah. But this is liberated. Is it carry? Basically, I believe it carries three ships, fighters on top. So like you put Super Hornet on top, you know, a Roar on top, whatever, a Prospector, and I believe it carries a couple of vehicles inside, and it can carry a Tonk. So obviously, if I had this, I carry a Tonk. I also envisioned we could use this for mining. Like you know, I could have a Prospector on it. Tiffy could have a, a Prospector. You could have your fighter on if we get attacked. We could have the little rocks inside if we didn't go out for ground mining. And this could be like a, a mining operation ship. Or just use it, you know, I'm going to need to move t my tonk yeah. from A to B. You can move my tank around, basically, my tonk. So I see it. So I see a reason for having this ship. I just don't see $600 reason for being it worth it. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I'd like to get this ship, but this will be some out earning game when the game launches. Unless they release a smaller ship that lets me carry my tonk around. What's the cheaper? Then I'll get that instead. <laughs> what do you think of this ship? 
banging. That was really good. But that was, I think, the last patch is big ship that was uh, you could get. Yeah. Okay, I'll, and we'll I'll do this it. again tomorrow. But obviously tomorrow, because we looked at these two days, we only have to do one, one of these instead of going back, because we, like we did today. I believe yeah, well, that Aegis yeah, well. as well, if I'm not mistaken, Aegis has got one of the lot more ships in the game too, so that might be a while looking around tomorrow. So tomorrow might be a quite a big day. But they do have smaller man. Well, Monday I'm not in. Oh, so that's good then. Because I believe they got a lot of big ships in games, so if you want to look around, it's like is. today for example, you don't need to look around the Carrick. I have one, you've been in it before, there's no need to. But there's probably a few big ships tomorrow, like the Redeemer, not the Redeemer, the, um... Oh, the name's gone. I think, is it Retaliator? Well, whichever, it's basically, it's like the salvage ship. That one is absolutely huge. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense but there's a salvage ship that's absolutely huge. You might want to look in that, and I believe that's an Aegis ship, if I'm not mistaken, so that'll be tomorrow. So obviously, if we look around them ships, like with Drake, you can look like around the Caterpillar. When you look around the bigger ships, it takes longer. Like I said, if we look around the Carrick now, we could probably spend 30 minutes alone going around the Carrick completely if we wanted to, and you just took your clothes off in front of me. Or, you, or is that someone else? That's you. <laughs> Why are you taking no, your clothes off? <laughs> well, I'm time to get ready for bed I now, isn't it? Guess. <laughs> Weirdo. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to good stuff and tune in next week where we'll probably hit day three. Gotta edit it. Maybe I can squeeze four in there too. This is still obviously 2021 stuff, but eventually we'll get to 2022 stuff. Like I said, as I'm putting these up, the next ship show in business is already going on. I can run, but anyway, see you next time, everyone. Bye.